Welcome to the May Mayor Spotlight podcast episode. I'm your co-host, Hannah Rabelais, and every month we're sitting down with your mayor, Blake Margolis, to discuss what's in his monthly Mayor Spotlight newsletter. And for May of 2023, we're talking about volunteering in your hometown. Thank you, mayors, for taking the time. I haven't interviewed you in a while. You've been, been, in a the, been in the hot seat. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. I'm glad you're now back in the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said co-host this time, yes. because you are also a host of well, this lovely yeah. podcast. <laughs> Well, yes, thank you. It's very exciting uh, to recognize our amazing volunteers in the city. There's so many of them. Mm-hmm. We're, we're a very fortunate city to have so many engaged residents who want to help out in various ways, uh, helping others, you know, whether that's food pantry assistance or resource assistance or, you know, our CERT volunteers or Board of Commission volunteers. Yes. There's so many things that we Uh, that these volunteers do that the city just couldn't do without. Right. So April was National Volunteer Month. So that's why we're high, not just why we're highlighting this topic, but one of the main reasons we picked this for May. Um, And then every year we celebrate by holding a special volunteer appreciation banquet. And since 2005, Rowlett mayors have had the honor of recognizing a Rowlett resident with the highest volunteer award. And this service award is named after one of Rowlett's most civically engaged citizen, Richard Huff. And so the Richard Huff Award has had a long history of being presented to those who lead with a strong sense of community and compassion. And this year's recipient is no different. So can you share with us who this person is and why you chose them to receive this prestigious award? So as I stated at the event itself, you know, it it is not an easy decision to figure out who who should get the Richard Huff Service Award. Right. You know, it, there are, because there are just so many amazing volunteers in this community. But one of the names that came up uh, in my mind was uh, this individual who has been volunteering since 2001 via food pantry wow. uh, out of her church and um, has not asked for recognition, been recognized, has just done the service and done the work Mm. because it's important to her and it's important to the community. And so I felt like, you know what, this is the right time to recognize this person for all of those years of service to our community and to those who are, you know, income restricted and don't have the luxuries that some of uh, some of us have. Uh, and so she has uh, Ann Dotson is the one that I that I uh, selected. She is the uh, Reverend Pastor at First Christian Church in Rowlett. That is oh, the wonderful. Yeah, First Christian Church is the oldest church established in Rowlett. First church established in huh. Rowlett. Um, used to be located at the current Chamber of Commerce building that was built to serve as First Christian Church. Wow, okay. Um, Some and, little history for y'all in this episode too. <laughs> yes, yes. So she has been the pastor there since 2000 and opened this food pantry that operates out of the building, the church that that she works at uh, since 2001. And um, so, you know, all of the years of service, providing food, clothing, and other materials to families and individuals who are less fortunate mm-hmm. um, is is something worth recognizing. Uh, and and she has such an, a such a big heart mm. for what she does and helping people. Um, she's not you know she's not interested in and passing judgment or, you know, uh, uh, or anything of the sort. She is only loving and accepting of everybody. And, um, and that, that shows through the work that she does through the food pantry. So definitely worth the recognition. Yes. Um, can't say enough good things about, uh, Ann Dotson and all that she has done. Um, just a great person to talk with and be around. Oh, I love that. Drew, can mm-hmm. we get a round of applause for Ann Dotson? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the least we can do. <laughs> the very least, yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, do you have anything else you want to share on that topic? Or do you want to talk about the other people who were honored at that volunteer banquet? I'll talk about the other people who were you know, honored. So Perfect. So also at the this year's banquet, we recognized various other people for the work they have done, including, um, you know, Volunteer of the Year, who is Frank Merriman, and Platinum Volunteer of the Year, Barbara Grissel. And Diamond Volunteer of the Year, Ozzy Cutter. Um, she's been she's been recognized a lot. So shout out to has. Ozzy. She really yeah, <laughs> doing she a lot. <laughs> again, again, there are just so many amazing volunteers in this community. And to see that that room was 
the banquet mm-hmm. was filled to the rim with oh, our amazing. volunteers that probably wasn't even 20% of the volunteers who serve in this community. Wow. It just goes to say how much we as a community rely on these people to serve, um, you know, serve, serve our city. It's, it's, uh, it's one of the most proudest things. Uh, one, one of the most things that I, one of the things I'm most proud of mm. as mm. mayor uh, of this community is to know how many people are involved in this city and helping others. It is something that I, um, I just, it's hard to express the, mm-hmm. the, the um, amazingness of of what we have in this city. You made, you mentioned an interesting stat in the newsletter. So in fiscal year 2022 alone, over 9,800 volunteer hours were donated, which equals about over 277,000 taxpayer dollars saved. That's incredible. Oh yeah. Like I, mm-hmm. it's, it just shows you again, the statistics of what the, the impact of these people have on our community is just incredible so just shout out for these people for taking the time yes. even if it's just one hour a month or something going walking a dog at the animal shelter i mean there's so many different ways to give back and so i'm curious from your perspective like what is your experience i mean you are mayor so your experience might be a little unique than the typical volunteer but how would you encourage someone um if they're just thinking about volunteering in Rala? What would your words of encouragement be for those? Well, first there's many opportunities. Many, many right. opportunities. Um just you know, typing in ways to volunteer in Rala and you'll probably see all these nonprofits listed mm-hmm. or you'll see our board of commissions out there. Um, you know, one thing to keep in mind when you're volunteering, it again depends on which program you're volunteering with. In my experience, Um, it is a true service and honor to do it. Mm. Um, it, it's something that takes away time from your family and from your home life. Right. Uh, but if that's something, if, if service is something that you're interested in, uh, there are plenty of opportunities in, in Rowlett to do that. Um, I've gotten to know amazing people who, who are these volunteers. Um, and they just, they, they love what they do. They love, being able to help others and help the community. Um, if you don't have that passion, you know, probably not the fit for you because right. every one of these people are truly passionate about what they do. Mm-hmm. They love what they do. So you have to, you have to love it. You have to have some passion for it, uh, for it to work. Um, and so, and a lot of people do. Yeah. And you started your volunteering journey, how in the city? Oh gosh. Scanning, um, scanning the, the, police the, scanners the, the, at right, first, I think. Right. It was, it was the Rowlett scanner page on, on social media, uh, you know, was a service, right. um, which was to inform the community of things happening, mm-hmm. um, and did that for various years. Uh, and then was asked to, uh, 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 apply for the as a junior alternate member for the parks and recreation advisory board Mm. and then through that uh, joined the kids kingdom rebuild subcommittee and helped with that process so fun and um and then 18 got on council and you know keep in mind while council gets paid like very little yes very very little (laughs) we recognize that when we get on city council that it is a volunteer position. Right. Right. It, it really is. It mm-hmm. is, it is service. It's dedication to the city. Um, and so, uh, you know, again, uh, every, uh, the fabric of our community is built by our volunteers. Uh, and so it's, it's the least that we can do as a city to recognize those who dedicate themselves to service. Yes. Well, I'm so glad you laid that in your newsletter. And you also provide some really great list of boards of commissions and other civic groups in our community that the city also supports. So please, please, please read the newsletter to find out if there's a pick. If you love the library, there's a library advisory board. I mean, there's something for everyone. You can really find what you're passionate about in this city. Yes. Um, so anything else you wanted to share with our lovely listeners about this? Just topic? again, want to extend my greatest gratitude for everybody who volunteers, uh, whether you were recognized or not. Mm-hmm. Just uh, want to thank you for what you do for our community. Yeah, another round of applause. <laughs> thank you. I was ready that time. <laughs>
And I also want to thank all the incredible volunteers who donate their time and our talents to our city. And so, and if you're interested in volunteering, please visit Rowlett.com slash volunteer. And if you want to serve on a city board or commission, visit Rowlett.com slash serve. So if that's it, I guess we'll thank everyone for tuning in to this episode of the Mayor Spotlight. Thank you. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite platform so you don't miss an episode. And if you have any questions or would like to submit a topic, please email us at podcast at rowlet.com or tag us on social media using the hashtag MyRowlet. Have a great day, folks.